There is nothing to dislike about dogs. They are loyal and kind, as well as just damn cute. So why on earth are some dogs illegal to own, you might be asking? Although some breeds have been mislabeled as dangerous, others are indeed illegal in some places around the world. So let's look at the top offenders. Number 10, Cane Corso. Remember Ramsay's beloved dog from Game of Thrones? This breed is called the Cane Corso. If you find yourself in their territory, you might need to hide on the roof of a car. Most are unaware that they are banned in both Bermuda as well as in eight states in the USA. The Cane Corso has a back height of more than 1.5 meters, which makes it impossible for you to keep them without a high fence. Cane Corso is an aggressive and fearless type of dog that attacks opponents larger than themselves and rushes at wild animals, using a very powerful jaw that is not much inferior to the jaws of a Kungal in terms of life force. Number 9. Turkish Kungal there is no dog in the world with a more powerful bite than a Kungal, and its bite force being 743 pounds per square inch more than a lion. This means that Kungals can bite through bone-like crackers, and this is why they don't even fear tigers. Unlike Labradors, Kungals are very tall and grow up to one meter above the shoulders. This is how it looks compared to a Labrador. The long legs of this dog allow it to easily accelerate at 50 kilometers per hour and jump over two meter fences. If the dog wants to run, keep it on a leash at all times. Number eight, Sarplaninic Shepherds, also known as a Sarplanina. This breed are excellent herding dogs, which can easily manage flocks of sheep, cows, and even stubborn pigs, but they can also defend the owners from bears due to their large size. Sarplaninak shepherds average 60 centimetres at the shoulders, making them perfect for controlling sheep or even cows. There is a large Sarplanina ahead of you that is 76 centimetres tall and weighs 90 kilograms. The leash is purely cosmetic since this man barely keeps this dog in check. A strong chain can hold this planet giant, so avoid tying it to your bike. If you're thinking about getting a Sarplanina shepherd, you ought to know that in its native Macedonia and Serbia, it's regarded as the best guard dog. No one would ever want to trespass on the other side of the fence. What you should know about owning a Sarplan in a Shepherd is you need to make sure you are not living in Denmark, where these dogs are prohibited and also restricted in Ukraine and Belarus. It may seem difficult for you to stop these dogs, but all you need is love. So please show us your love for them by liking this video. Number seven, Brazilian Mastiff. Also known as the Fila Brasileiro, this dog is a large working dog hailing from Brazil with extraordinary trackability and temperament, making him an excellent hunter. But with its unpredictable personality and aggressive nature, this big guy can be challenging at times. It's interesting to note that Brazilian Mastiffs have a very short lifespan and the first year of a puppy's life can make all the difference. If the puppy is socialized early on with people and other dogs, the chances of it being aggressive stay low. The Brazilian Mastiff is highly loyal, which is a double-edged sword since it attacks people if it means protecting its owner or family. But on the other hand, because of lack of socialization, it can have serious consequences, which is why the breed has been illegal in Norway, Denmark, Israel, and the United Kingdom, among other countries. Number six, Czechoslovakian Wolfdog. Czechoslovakian Wolfdog are a mix of German Shepherds and Carpathian Wolves. And these gorgeous dogs were designed to carry out secret military operations for Czechoslovakian Special Forces in 1955. But also the Czech Wolfdog Tsar, who is the most outgoing and brave of all Czech Wolves, has been used in countless search and rescue operations throughout Europe and the United States. Considering they're a part wolf, they're unpredictable and in one situation will act like a dog, but in another, they'll act like wolves. This explains why they have such a strong urge to attack prey, which is why so many have fallen victim to these wolf-dog hybrids. The Czechoslovak wolf-dog is prohibited in Norway. Number five, Tosa Inu. Tosa Inu Shikoku originated in Japan and are big, powerful dogs that weigh between 130 and 200 pounds. This makes them a pretty rare breed, just like sumo wrestlers. In Japanese dogfighting, the rules require total silence as well as very aggressive behavior towards other dogs. They were bred exclusively as fighting dogs, which would explain why they're so quiet. They're also very protective of their family and can get very aggressive when they sense an intruder in the house. This breed absolutely needs an owner that is authoritative and confident. However, they are great with their owner's children. 
These dogs have extremely powerful jaws and teeth, and they're not pretty to look at. In 2006, an eight-year-old girl from Moscow was tragically killed by a Tosa, and that's far from the only incidents where this breed has killed or seriously injured someone. Several nations have declared this breed illegal, including the UK, Norway, Iceland, New Zealand, and many others. Number four, American Bulldog. This muscular breed descends from the English Bulldog and weighs anywhere between 60 and 120 pounds. The muscular dog with a square head is as strong as it looks and has an active temperament that binds it to its owner. Although their potential aggression can be problematic, American Bulldog owners are recommended to thoroughly socialize their new pups with other dogs and cats early and frequently lower the risk of behavior problems. Later on, American Bulldog attacks aren't that rare. In August 2016, a nine-year-old boy barely emerged from a vicious attack by one of these dogs, while a three-year-old boy died as a result of his injuries and injuries sustained from one of these dogs in October 2017. Denmark and Singapore banned this breed after stories like these emerged. Number three, Pitbull. Pitbull may be considered sort of an all-encompassing label because there are dozens of mixes out there such as the American Pitbull Terrier and the American Bully in the same way that Toso Ino's dogs were created to fight. Pitbulls are still bred to fight underground in illegal fights, even though dog fighting is illegal in most countries these days. Throughout the world, including in Miami and the UK, their severe aggression has put them on the doggy blacklist due to their horrible upbringing. Pitbull type dogs were associated with around one third of the fatal dog attacks over 11 years according to a report released by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in 2000. This makes this dog all the more dangerous as a dangerous killer. Some people share their opinion about Pitbull, but they just need a responsible owner. Everything about the dog revolves around its owner and his or her training intentions. When training is good, behavior is good. When it's bad or no training, watch out. Number two. Rottweiler. One of the oldest herding breeds, these dogs are known for their intelligence, protection and courage. However, this breed isn't for everyone because it requires a calm and stable pack leader. In the UK, there was an incident in which a Rottweiler saved a man's life by guarding him until the police arrived. Rottweilers require socialisation training and plenty of challenges to thrive. Rottweilers, however, have been involved in 33 fatal attacks on people over seven years, according to the American Veterinary Medical Association, and have been dubbed the deadliest dog. Poles, Romanians, Portuguese, and Irish governments have declared the breed illegal for these reasons. Number one, Canary Mastiffs. Like pretty much all other breeds on the list, Canary Mastiffs are affectionate and loving with their owners and suspicious of strangers. They are originally bred for herding livestock. Male dogs can weigh up to 160 pounds and females up to 154 pounds. The situation isn't always this way, but back in August 2006, a 30-year-old Californian woman was savagely attacked and killed by her Canary Mastiff, while in April 2017, a 40-year-old Spanish woman was attacked and killed by her dog. There are more attacks of this breed than just mentioned, as this breed has a history of attacking just about anyone from children to grown men. The governments of Australia and New Zealand decided it was not worth the risk to allow this breed to remain. We'll sign off here because it's time for me to feed my dogs. What breed of dog do you think should be banned? Let us know in the comments. If you like the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.